What is up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Sage version. Last episode we made it here to Route 5 and ended off on a bit of a cliffhanger as we have this double battle against two uh, school kids coming up. I don't think it's really going to be too, uh, I guess, tough of a battle but for some reason I decided to end off the episode right before it and we're going to continue today by taking them on. You may also notice I've actually got Larva Bidet up in the front of the party. Um, I actually finally decided I'm going to start training him up because there is that really cool split evolution that it's got um, and I want to check out what we can get and by that I mean it's got three different possible evolutions I think at level 19 so yeah definitely gonna try uh, to start training him up a little bit more as well as Coblin here who's already at 22 I did a little bit of training off screen and we are ready to go on the way to the second gym which we learned last episode is actually in Cronia City and I think it's actually a steel type gym so if you guys are excited make sure to hit that like button and show your support for the channel and the series uh oh did I just really do 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 oh okay leave a like for apparently attacking my own Pokemon okay actually don't do that it's kind of messed up and I definitely misclicked there uh and now Coblin's actually gonna suffer for it wow that is probably the dumbest mistake I've ever made in a Pokemon playthrough right there. If this was a Nuzlocke, that would have actually been the funniest thing ever, but also the saddest thing ever, I guess. So let's just pretend that didn't happen and continue. As I was saying, the next gym is a Steel type gym. So I think we're probably going to be okay considering we've got uh, Pyro as our starter Pokemon, but it would definitely help out to try to catch something, maybe like a ground or a fighting Pokemon. And I think actually that one horse that we never got the chance to catch last episode might be a ground type, maybe ground and ghost. So that would have been pretty interesting to have, but I don't know. I couldn't find it. So we're going to ignore it and keep on trekking through. We may lose, but we lose together. That's right. No matter what, you got to stick together. Johnny always tries to impress me. I think he gets that I like him either way. Oh, wow. I don't think he gets that. Whoa, what? Oh, she was saying that she does like him. I thought she was trying to like roast him. Like, why can't he just get that I don't like him? But she was actually saying that I don't think he gets that she likes him no matter what. Like, he doesn't have to try to impress her, I guess, which is pretty sweet. Anyway, uh, we got an Alpine out here and let's see if Larva Bidet can actually battle its first uh, opponent. Uh, clearly not, as you can see, the Poison Sting did absolutely nothing there. And I realized I actually did learn Bug Bite, um, I think at level 13, so I probably could have gone for that, but it's a little bit late now. And actually, I should have switched out to Cub Zero. I feel like in the last few episodes, I haven't really been training up Cub Zero anymore, maybe because I'm aware that the next gym is Steel type, and Cub Zero probably won't be too helpful against that. Uh, but, oh man, I just literally had something I was about to talk about. Oh, last episode, I definitely, well, I guess the last episode was on Sunday, and I literally left a comment mentioning that I was going to upload tomorrow, as in yesterday, Monday, and then I definitely didn't do it. I feel like I even jinxed myself by commenting that. It's almost like I say, hey guys, I'm going to do daily uploads, and literally saying that is what jinxes it, and then I end up missing a day, uh, but I'm going to try to upload as much as I can, guys, and if the videos, if one day or another, I guess there isn't a video, I should definitely try to update you guys a little bit more, maybe on Twitter or something like that if there isn't going to be a video, uh, but anyway, we got one today, and we're actually, why am I even fighting this thing? This is a wild potter. I just realized that it is a wild Pokemon, and I still cannot escape because Larva Bidet Apparently it's just, I, I don't know man, just not fast enough to run away. I don't get why Pokemon can't run away from sometimes, but okay, 1 HP. Wow, the 1 HP runaway. I love it, Larva Bidet. Keep it up, buddy. And oh my goodness, we've got another surprise Pokemon, Pokeball, Pokemon, Doppel here, which I took me way too long to realize its name was like Doppel, but also Tadpole, you know, because it's Doppelganger tries to pretend it's a Pokeball, but clearly we can tell there's a little creature hiding inside, so let's uh, smack it down real quick. I don't even know why I decided to battle that. I guess it felt more like an official battle because it wasn't like a random encounter in the grass. It was actually a little Pokeball, but I forget that we don't actually get items for that, and we got a Pepit that I feel like I probably can't run away from either uh, because I realize now, actually, when I was training up Larva Bidet, I could never run away from anything. So, yeah, we pretty much just, it's easier to switch out and try to take out this Pokemon. Or maybe run away now, actually. Pyro's almost level 25, so might as well take out this Pepit here. Come on. We really gotta get out of here, man. Like, I feel like we've been in this little, like, we basically haven't done anything this episode yet. Maybe it's because Larva Bidet is holding us back a little bit. I don't know, though. I don't really want to blame it all on Larva Bidet, but... 
Here's a Pumper Runt, and actually I would have totally bug bit that if it wasn't for the fact we're already 1 HP. So really not that great, but you may notice that I actually caught one off screen, so I uh, definitely got that over in the PC. I'm pretty sure the only Pokemon I haven't caught so far in this entire game is actually uh, that, that Ghost Horse. Or maybe there's something else that I haven't, or that I missed, that I haven't really noticed. Uh, but hey, look at that, we actually made it to not really the next town, or maybe we did make it to the city already, because there's definitely a badge check gate here. Did I just really say badge check gate? I meant to say just a regular gate. Dronia City is an incredible sight to behold. Make sure you visit the museum while you're there. Thank you, and I love the music here still. Don't know what's up with this. It looks kind of like a, like a bear emoticon, but it's like smoke coming out of a city at the same time. I don't know what it is, but here we are in Dronia City. I've traveled all over the region, and if there's one thing I've learned, it's to always have a wide variety of Pokemon to help you overcome any obstacle. That is very true, my man. That's why I love having Pokemon that are usually two types, because it gives you that much more variety on your team. And I guess you can cover a whole lot more uh, weaknesses and resistances. And oh my goodness, it is the Name Raider's house. I don't know if I'm really going to nickname any of my Pokemon. Maybe I'll nickname my starter, actually, but... Maybe not, because I do like the official names in this game, and I still have yet to see that final starter evolution, so... Uh, what the heck? This guy's actually asking us for something... What What did he just ask us for? That's strange. You see, I work at the Pokemart. He was giving away a TM, and someone stole it. Okay, alright, so I guess we, we gotta find the person that stole his TM. I thought he was actually giving us a side quest, and I'm like, wow, I probably should have paid more attention to his dialogue, but... Guess not. Uh, Pot Dogs... Uh... I, I don't know if I want to try this because I know it comes from Potter and I'm literally thinking of the little cute water puppy thingy and it's kind of messed up if they turned it into food but I guess not really because hot dogs aren't actually dogs either. I, I don't know. I don't know what that person asked either. I'm really bad at multitasking today apparently or I guess reading while telling my stories. That's usually what I'm bad at though, so I guess that's every day, bro. Anyway, uh, Larva Bidet seems to- oh, wow, blushed. Okay, I didn't even mean to talk to it, but apparently we got it to blush. I'll be the first one in. I made sure to get here a whole day in advance. So this is literally the museum that the lady was talking about. It hasn't even opened yet, and it's like the middle of the night. I'm pretty sure museums don't open in the middle of the night, or maybe it's because it's like the, uh, I don't know, grand opening or something. Didn't this lady want something from us, or was it you? Someone wanted- oh no, it was the purple, or hair, yeah, this person. What part of the new exhibition are you excited about? What? Are you- are you serious? That's- no? Are you even here? She literally asked what part, and it's a yes or no question, like, that doesn't even make sense, but anyway, uh, let's go explore some more of this place and actually try to find where the gym is at, because even though we're probably not going to be taking it on in this episode, it would be nice to know where it is at least. Uh, so that we can prepare. I think we actually just saw it, but what is this guy doing? What are you looking at me like that for? This TM? No, I most definitely didn't steal it from some dude in the park. Look, alright, take it. I want nothing to do with it anymore. Alright, well, we get the TM for Thief. I don't know how much more ironic than that it can get, but, uh, sure. That was, that was barely even stealing. The dude literally just forked it over. Like, he was literally so nervous about stealing it that as soon as someone called him out for it, it was like... Uh, okay, buddy, you can just, you can just have it back, alright? I didn't even do it, uh, but, wow, a burn heal randomly hiding it in a barrel. I don't know how I actually found that one, but sure. And, as I said, we did actually go right past the gym, and it looks like we can already enter it. But we are definitely not ready to take this play on, or place. You'd better steal yourself if you're gonna meddle with Stella. Use Fire Ground Pokemon to forge your way through her gym if you want to challenge her tough as nails team. Okay, seriously, dude? This guy is trying to out-pun us right now. I don't even really try to pun, actually. Most of my puns come unintentionally, so I'm not even gonna try this time around, but those are some pretty good ones. I like them. Uh, do you pay close attention to the abilities of Pokemon? Sometimes. I actually haven't really been paying too much attention to the abilities in this game, though, and I know there's a lot of really cool new ones that they made up uh, just for the game, or I guess the Pokemon in this game, but yeah, I don't really pay attention to them too often, to be honest. Probably should at some point. What is the point of this house, by the way? I guess, uh, got some info on natures and abilities, which is alright, you know. Pokemon natures, not everyone knows about those either. 
which is kind of strange actually because nature has been around for a while now but he seemed like someone who can make use of this take it metronome whoa dude i feel like we always get this item in like almost every pokemon game you get it in a random city like specifically in a city usually it's great that my grandson has a hobby but he makes so much noise oh he's like a musician that's cool it fits with him giving us the metronome so whatever kid out of me and my paparant he has the best pompadour right that's right for sure i mean look at that thing puts mine to shame what is this like a special little pomperant? oh no he's just yeah like dog like owner i guess that is actually kind of cool though when dogs or i guess dog owners kind of get their dogs to look similar to them i mean it's cool but kind of weird at the same time because i feel like people go like really far sometimes uh with their dogs but you know I guess uh, they literally treat them like they're kids, even better than kids sometimes. I've seen people treat their dogs. Um, but yeah, I specifically love people that, or I guess those contests where it's like people try to look like their dog. I feel like that's a thing. I don't know if it's actually a contest, but I've definitely seen it in like a movie or a TV show before. So I'm assuming it's in real life too. But anyway, I feel like for some reason, every time we get to a new city i have to like check out every single building in here and try to see what we can find but we're not really finding anything too much of in this city so far which isn't bad i mean it is called dronia city i didn't expect it to be too lively i guess i don't know why i guess the name drone droning isn't drone like doesn't it sound kind of boring or doesn't it have to do something like that and i'm not talking about the little flying drone camera things although those are pretty cool also i really actually have wanted to get a drone myself for a really long time but don't know why i haven't yet i really should just start doing stuff that i've been wanting to for a while but i'm talking about actually drone like i feel like it means someone that's dull or like boring i don't know maybe i'm thinking of something else but i've lived in dronia city for nearly my entire life to think i've been around longer than some of these buildings have it's a very strange thought that is very strange because you'd think like something as big as buildings sometimes you think they had been there forever like especially when i go to downtown chicago or i'm in new york millie rockin i don't know you look around at the giant skyscrapers and stuff and they just look so formidable and giant they just feels like they've been there forever you know but i guess it's all man-made and it could literally be torn down and remodeled pretty quickly actually it just depends on i guess uh, the funds you got i don't know but this is really cool i love how we're actually on top of the pokemon center right now and you can even see like parts of the city in the background all blurred it actually gives you a little bit more scope as to how big the world of pokemon actually is um because you know with the whole sprite artwork and stuff it makes it feel like it's actually all really small there's only like 10 buildings in the whole city but really these uh cities are enormous oh hey what sequoia is here orangey long time no see I'm supposed to be here doing some field research for the professor, but I'd rather just go sightseeing. On top of that, he wanted me to look after this abandoned egg he found, but I'm not sure I'll have the time to care for it. Alright, how about this? If you've registered 40 Pokemon in your decks, I'll give you this rare Pokemon egg as a reward. Have you registered 40 Pokemon? I don't think so quite yet. Just kidding, I don't care, take the egg. Wow, really? Alright, Sequoia, nice troll there, but... I guess I might have been pretty close to 40 Pokemon regardless, because as you will see right now, I've got quite a lot of Pokemon in here. Definitely not close to 40 though, but I guess we've got to deposit someone in Talmarin, although you've been a great little uh, rock smashing pal. I guess it's time for you to go into the PC where you probably belong in the first place. And now we can, I guess, get the egg. I love me some eggs, all you've got to do is walk around and it'll hatch into a beautiful bundle of responsibility. Wow, speaking of pets, I'm sure you'll make a great mama. I'm going to check out the local sites later. Alright, see ya Sequoia. But yeah, I guess that's pretty much like having a pet is kind of like having a kid when I think about it. Uh, I had a dog for a while and it was definitely not easy to take care of, but you know, it's also a responsibility like she said. It's definitely a learning experience and I guess he's still all right with my grandparents now but I definitely wish that I'd uh I guess done better done a better job of taking care of him back when I was younger I mean I got the dog when I was like 14 I think so I wasn't really that young but I don't know I guess I definitely wasn't ready for a pet maybe a cat a healer those are a little bit easier to take care of but down here is route 9 and I feel like we actually skipped past a couple of things but Maybe not. I am loving the music here, though. This is really awesome. And also, berry trees. Always gotta pick them berries. But not all of them, because... I don't know, but... I'm gonna head back to Dronia City, actually, for a second, because... 
even though I actually think that training over in that route would probably be the next best thing to do before taking on the gym. I guess there's a couple more buildings to explore here. Uh, what is going on, Minocorp? Hello? Minocorp producers of goods for a brighter future. Okay, so it looks like we have basically a Sylphco-like entity in this game. I don't know why I said entity, but I like that word. Um, I guess I meant like a company, kind of like the Sylphco, but that sounds redundant because co literally stands for company, right? Anyway, three of us together make up Dronia's white collar recognition group. We strive to make more people aware that there is more to industry than just smelting and building. Oh, it's because it's Dronia. They're literally the city of manufacturing. No wonder the name Dronia. I felt like it came from drone, but I guess it literally is from drones like the ones in Star Wars, like robots and stuff. And Kawadi Cola, that is perfect. Even though we are now completely broke, I literally have $18 to my name. Pokey dollars that age, which are basically like 18 cents. I mean, you literally cannot buy anything with that in this world. Uh, but whoa, what what are you doing here? In future versions, I will handle the apricorn crafting system. Hope you're having fun. Well, I'm definitely having a blast with this game, but kind of weird that guy was there. Just, you know, a little fourth wall breaking. I like it. Uh, no problem, though, because I guess it's literally letting us know what will be in the next version of the game, which is awesome to know that uh, they're actually working on this game diligently. I mean, I guess that makes sense considering this version update came out. Uh, but yeah, we cannot visit the CEO without making an appointment. Her schedule is fully booked. That sucks. Whatever. I guess we don't really have a reason to see the CEO right now, but we can stand on the window of the elevator, apparently. Uh, I don't, don't think you're supposed to be able to walk all over this elevator, but... I guess that's an interesting little bug we found. Kind of convenient because we've got this bug following us as well. And it is actually getting kind of dark. I definitely got up a little bit later than usual today. And that might be partly why I didn't make a video yesterday. I feel like I definitely need to work on my scheduling. Uh, as I mentioned, having, I guess, the freedom to work and I guess not work whenever you want is definitely a good and a bad thing, I guess, for me. Because I definitely want to... I guess get on a more serious work schedule with videos, even though I don't even consider these videos actually work. But, you know, I guess it's good to call it work so that I can actually do serious or take it more serious and actually uh, record every day and stuff. But I'm glad I've got a ticket. Sometimes you have to book months in advance if you want to go on a trip. That is definitely true, but not really something I follow, to be honest. I'm like definitely a very uh, spontaneous person, and it is not great when you're buying plane or train tickets because, uh, yeah, last minute, I guess anything really is usually more expensive, um, but not really actually. Sometimes you can find plane flights for like a lot cheaper the day before because a lot of people like can't, uh, excuse me, cancel their trips and stuff. But anyway, I guess we've done enough exploring of the city, so let's wrap it up, excuse me again, by giving this guy back his TM. I think I had a little bit too much Chipotle once again this weekend, uh, so you know, I don't know why I'm talking about this. I don't think that guy had anything else for us, so I healed up our Pokemon, and I guess it is time to head down to Route 9 to do a little bit more training for this gym of Dronia. Even though we can, I guess, take it on right now, I'll probably save it for the next episode and train up this Larva Bidet a little bit more, maybe even get it to evolve. I'm not really sure why I'm training Larva Bidet, though, because I literally mentioned that I wasn't training Cup Zero because what the... Is... Is... Is that what I think it is? Platypow has shown up, yet another Platypus Pokemon, and wow, I'm actually really excited to try to catch this guy, and I totally forgot that we also got that egg from Sequoia, so I was like, freaked out by what that little icon there was at the end of the party, but anyway, I'm gonna try to catch this uh, Platypow here, judging by its name, it's probably a fighting type, so might be kind of helpful against a steel type gym, and that's literally what I was just gonna talk about, like, I don't know why uh, I seem to be so lenient on trading up Larva Bidet this episode, uh, when I literally said I don't want to train Cub Zero because it won't be too useful against the Steel Gym. And Larva Bidet will literally be uh, useless against the Steel Gym because it's a bug type. But let's see if this Platypow maybe is a little bit more useful. And Fighting Poison type, could that be any more perfect? Oh wait, no, Poison doesn't affect Steel, but Fighting does. So the potency Pokemon, predators that don't pay heed to Platypow because of its tiny size are quickly surprised by its fiery nature and its remarkably strong punches. Sounds like the perfect Pokemon to me, at least for taking on a Steel Gym, so I will definitely be sure to grab that guy out of the PC in a little bit, but oh no, it's another Doppel. I probably should have seen that coming. 
I even walked all the way around just to grab this item ball, and of course, it ended up being a little doppel, but yeah, I don't know. I really want to see Larva Bidet's evolution, but I feel like I'm kind of wasting experience right now trading him up uh, when it could go to other Pokemon, like I guess that Platypow we just caught, or even Potter. Oh, I caught a Potter too, that little water electric dog. I would actually love to use a Potter on the team, um, but there's just too many good Pokemon in this game, man. We're learning Mudslide though, which I think is a new move, at least I haven't heard of it, I don't think. Um, but I guess I'll get rid of Ember for it, because we really haven't been using Ember all that much. And Flame Charge is probably better in every way, so yeah, let's keep on trucking. That was probably a real item right there. Of course, I end up messing up though, and we don't even have Cut, so can't get that item. But hey, here's finally a trainer. I feel like we've literally only battled one trainer this entire episode. And it's been like almost 20 minutes already, so yeah, let's finally get another battle in here um, against, I guess, Potter, who I was literally just talking about. But yeah, I guess I'll keep on training up Coblin a little bit more as well, because he evolves at level 25, and uh, we're getting pretty close to that. Now, I did mention that uh, Coblin as well has like a split evolution, just like Larva Bidet, actually. Um, it can evolve into two different Pokemon, and I think one of them might be a Fire-type. So I don't think I'm going to go for it. I won't spoil exactly what the other typing is, but considering we already have a fire type on the team, um, probably not going to go for that one. It does look awesome though, like Coblin's evolutions are super sick, so maybe when I actually get it to evolve, I'll, I'll show off the other version of it, but whoa! Alpine gets dragged out against Quibble here. Not exactly your best matchup, buddy. Um, probably should have just switched out again. I don't, I don't even think this tackle will do anything. Yeah, that's, that's kind of- OH! Whoa! Whoa! Alpine! Out of nowhere, dude! Um, how does this always happen? Our little Alpine really wants to prove that it deserves to be on the team, even though I keep on, I guess, not training it, but... Alright, we might as well pick up this final berry tree since I came up here once again. Um, and this time I hopefully won't mess up this, this little part here. I guess we gotta go down. Oh boy, another wild one. It's quite a lot of those in these uh, routes, I guess, recently, and we can barely ever escape, but I guess it wanted to escape. Okay, that was kind of random, but uh, we can't even make it to the item ball. Another Potter, actually. It's all right, I guess I probably won't get the chance to catch, or sorry, train Potter anyway, but I know he's also got a pretty awesome looking evolution. Like I said, there's just so many really awesome looking Pokemon in this game. Uh, not just like, I guess, design-wise, but also like their abilities and moves and stuff and typing. Like I just really love how much thought was put into each of these Fakemon in this game. Um, I ain't scared of a bunch of nerds in costumes. What's actually going on here? Team Aurum seems to be taking on the Greaser squad and we can't do anything about it. So I guess we go back and take on the gym now. I kind of thought that we'd be stopped at some point, probably be, or I guess, you know, we wouldn't be able to go all the way on to the next city or anything. Uh, but I didn't think it would be that close, so... Wow. Larva Bidet goes down. I knew it had to happen eventually, but geez. Finally, uh, Larva Bidet goes down in this episode. I guess it didn't really even battle, so... Again, I'm not really sure why I'm training up Larva Bidet. I literally just want to see the evolution at this point. And that Doppel was a little bit tougher than I expected as well. Um, I think it's about time we get out of this route. We've spent a little bit too long there. Actually, we've spent a little bit too long just droning around this episode, kind of fitting for how it's droning a city, but Zatarenji, I've got some new bug type Pokemon I'm sure you'll love. Come to Rustling Forest. I have no idea who just called me. I keep getting calls off screen too when I'm training and stuff, and it just never tells you who actually called you, but I think that is actually going to be it for this episode because I'm not sure that I really want to take on the gym right now, but might as well check it out. Let's go see whoa what we've got going on in here um i don't know if i actually want to check it out now this looks really awesome so yeah the music in there had like some banjo kazooie vibes and it was getting me a little bit too excited so i had to get out of there because we are saving it for the next episode but before we end it off i actually wanted to ask you guys for some help with our team because i honestly don't know which pokemon i really want to train up in this playthrough i guess i gotta figure out what the heck's in this egg as well but as for now, Coblin, Cub Zero, and Pyro are pretty awesome. I don't know about Alpine and Larva Bidet, as in like if they wanna or if they're gonna stay on the team permanently, but we definitely have a lot of awesome Pokemon here in the box as well as Potter, uh, Platypow, who we just caught, even Pepit. I just have so many fire types actually. Well, like three of them. 
but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think I should have on the team. I'm open to any suggestions. I think Platypow would definitely be good against this upcoming gym, but maybe not a permanent addition. So let me know what you guys think. Should I train up our little buddy Potter? Maybe Alpine. I know a lot of people like him. Uh, let me know in the comments and I will catch you all in the next episode as we take on the Dronia City Gym. Peace out.